Welcome to S&P Capital IQ's quarterly update on the leveraged finance market. I'm Ruth McGavin, a member of the Leverage Commentary and Data team in London. I'm going to take a look at the trends that shaped the first quarter of the year to see what's been going on in the leveraged loan and high yield bond markets in Europe. In the past, I've usually started off one of these presentations by talking about new issue volume in the loan market. But this time around, the place to start has to be in high yield. Thanks to the advent of QE in Europe, yield-hungry investors have piled into the bond market, creating record inflows during the first quarter, the sheer size of which was a surprise to many market players. These inflows drove yields on new issuance to their tightest levels on record and encouraged a host of issuers, particularly in the double B category, to refinance their existing high-yield bonds at cheaper levels. It also allowed some extremely tight pricing for newcomers to the high-yield market, for instance, double B rated Merlin Entertainments priced to yield just 2.75%, the tightest ever for a debut new issue. In all, these deals helped drive volume to 27 billion euros, which made the first quarter the busiest on record. But inflows into high yield have yet to translate across into the leveraged loan market. It's true that some high yield fund managers are taking a greater interest in the loan market in their search for yield and are adding their firepower to the existing institutional appetite for loans. But instead of creating an overwhelmingly strong bid for new issue loans, the first quarter saw investors maintain their discipline on credit quality. They eagerly grabbed their favoured deals, especially among the larger and therefore more liquid transactions, but they also turned away from some of the smaller or trickier credits. As a result, there were price flexes both upwards and downwards, and average clearing yields ultimately stayed level versus the fourth quarter of last year. Going forward into the second quarter of 2015, some market players believe discipline among lenders could erode unless supply picks up. First quarter loan volume was strong overall at 20 billion euros, which was aided by an influx of M&A financings in January, but issuance tailed off somewhat in the subsequent months, and the talk among arranging banks doesn't suggest a rapid pickup in activity. Indeed, market players note that sponsors may face something of an uphill battle on the M&A front. This is because QE is helping to drive equity valuations higher at the same time as regulatory scrutiny is making arrangers cautious about piling huge leverage multiples onto buyout financings. But as of late March, nearly half of the S&P European Leverage Loan Index, the ELI, was bid above par, and the strength of the secondary bid reflects the highly supportive environment for leveraged issuance. In the absence of much M&A, opportunistic transactions could emerge as borrowers look for sweet spots to refinance between bonds and loans. Seasoned issuers Wind and Ineos have already shown what's possible on this front, with their first quarter refinancings, both of which took advantage of the availability of Covenant Light loans. Indeed, Covenant Light loan issuance has been active again in the last few months, with investors willing to accept incurrence-only covenants, as well as other elements of bond star documentation, on a range of transactions. The first quarter saw a set of smaller deals syndicated on a Covlight basis, as well as the larger cross-border deals where Covlight is now pretty much seen as the norm. This is one trend that will certainly roll on into the second quarter, given the way the technical balance is set in issuers' favour. This brings me to the end of my market review. I hope you found it useful. Please feel free to email LCD with comments or questions. You can also download the slides at slideshare.net. If you'd like to know more about the leveraged loan market, you can follow LCD on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn, or you can visit our free websites, leverageloan.com and highyourbond.com. The links are all in the info section on our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening, and I hope you'll join me again next time.